Hello, everyone. Chris Wallace here with Interview. Excited to have another installment, another episode, if you will, of the distributed experience. Today, I am welcomed by Ray Lee from Prime Supply out of Seattle. Ray, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Chris. Uh, so we're excited. We're going to go through our, our list of questions that everyone in the hot seat usually gets from me. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about customer experience. So the best topic or the best way to start this conversation is customer experience is something that means probably a little bit something different to everyone, especially in the business world today. What does customer experience mean to you? Yeah, I mean, customer experience um, for me personally, and I think more and more for um, all of our stakeholders is thinking about how our product shows up, not only um, in the physical world, but also online in every channel and every facet um, that I think the pandemic and, and COVID-19 has really um, brought, made more relevant for us. Um, traditionally, you know, our products have been uh, physical things that are tangible. You always touch in, you know, in a, with a sample in a showroom or in displays. But uh, as the world is changing, you know, we really want to be able to um, provide all of the information and education in multiple different uh, ways and channels so that our customers can self-serve and really access, you know, everything they need at a touch of a, at a click or a touch um, without ha having to really go through the traditional channels of finding all of that from us. Um, and we rely on our fantastic channel partners to in distribution to handle customer facing kind of service and education and they do it they're doing an awesome awesome job um with it and it's it's really exciting to see well i, I really appreciate that answer i i've used the phrase that prior to covid the word omni-channel would make people's faces like <laughs> go blank or their eyes glaze over yeah but now it actually means something people are really starting mm -hmm. to understand what omni-channel actually means and the experience is about stitching it through, you know, all those different touch points. Um, so I appreciate that answer. I once had a, a flooring executive tell me that this is an industry. And he said, our industry has not upgraded the customer's experience in the last 20 to 25 years. And, <laughs> and now we have to. And mm -hmm. so I, it's, it sounds like you agree with that statement, which is, uh, which makes for exciting times for sure. Oh yeah. Um, it's a great opportunity. Um, I'm going to transition to the next question here. So when yeah. you think about your industry, whose job is it to focus on customer experience? And I have one rule. You can't okay. say everyone. <laughs> whose job is it to focus on the customer experience? You can pick one place or tell us who you really think that is, but you can't say everyone. Well, being a supplier, I would say it's the manufacturer's um, end responsibility. At the end of the day, it is your product. It is um, how you show up you control all aspects of that. You can rely on other partners to, to help you and, um, you know, to kind of assist along the way and customize and make it regional. But at the end of the day, um, it's, it's the manufacturers, it's the brands, you know, you're the ones that are building that. I would love to say everyone, because really, I think there's, there's room in there and for everybody and, and everyone needs to participate. But that's, you know, back to your question, the onus is on the manufacturer to educate um, just, you know, distributors and dealers and, and everybody down the supply chain to say, okay, this is, this is what the talking points are. And this is what's salient. And this is what's um, trending and important for, you know, customers to see. And all those assets need to be, um, at least in my opinion, generated from the manufacturer Obviously, we welcome, you know, other folks to jump in and, and participate in the conversation as well. Um, but I think the, the manufacturers are carrying the, the brunt of the, the burden there. Well, I think so. The, I think the right answer is everyone. But I knew that you would have a, a sharp take on, on whose responsibility <laughs> it was. So I appreciate you indulging me there. I appreciate that you, you accepting the, the restriction. Um, so you say that you know you're, it's the manufacturer's responsibility or it, the buck stops with you. What is one thing that your team is doing at Prime Supply that you feel like is demonstrating your commitment to the customer experience? Oh, gosh. Um, so many. I mean, there's the easy kind of answer, which is just product innovation and, and you know, finding better ways to fulfill customer needs, um, something that I think kind of touches to the to customer experience 
uh, conversation we were just having is just uh, better marketing and kind of messaging and, and show, you know, show, showing up in better ad spaces and things like that, working with designers and architects um, who traditionally may not have necessarily asked for manufacturers' opinions or, or um, takes on things to feature, you know, pro our products and relevant spaces and relevant um, projects and, and rooms. And that's something that um, I think trickles down to a lot of different different channels into spaces that traditionally ne didn't necessarily care about um, elevating kind of customer experience and taking taking products to new new places and things like that. So um, I would say it's you know product innovation, but also just better marketing. That's uh, it, it's a really interesting answer. I, I appreciate that perspective. Um, had spoken to somebody in a, in a similar industry in, in the in the building material space who um, several people actually who had indicated to us that they felt like, you know, we just, we just stopped talking about products and we need to start telling stories. And I, I, I think that's a lot of what you just said is, you know, kind of telling the story in new places and new ways and, yep. um, and helping our customers kind of see things in a new light, which I think is, um, is, is a really interesting take on that. Yes. You so, said it much better than I did telling better stories. Yeah. I, I just thought I, I, it, it rung true with me when rang mm -hmm. true with me when that person said it to me and um, right. It's, it's about more than the product. And I think that that's uh, that's a key thing to recognize. For sure. Okay. Um, we're going to go into the fill in the blank portion. Okay. Cool. Our industry needs to do blank better for our end customers. And when I say end customers, I mean the person whose home is ultimately going to be beautified by your products. Our industry needs to do blank better for our end customers. <laughs> this is probably cheating. I'll tell you what my original answer was, was okay. to inspire and educate better for our end customers and, and homeowners. Um, you but can still I, say I actually, that. Yeah, and, but I think the better word is to tell better stories because if we're telling great stories, we're inspiring and educating at the same time. Um, and that's something I think is, is a fantastic opportunity for us because if we, it's more than just a floor, like, you know, for a, an homeowner, that's, that's a dream house. That's something that folks have been saving up for that they've been planning for weeks and months and maybe even years. Right. And so it's, it's, fulfilling those sorts of dreams and helping families, you know, continue to grow. And, and those things are a lot more emotional and they tug at heartstrings. And um, those are things that we would love to be better at. That's, it's, it's really, really great to hear. It's, it's, it's interesting to hear the, the manufacturer's perspective on that. And um, I, I can certainly see where um, that will benefit the end customer if they're, if they're seeing, like I said, those products in a different light. So right. um, all right, we're 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 on to our we're on to our final question here. Okay, we're going to step outside of your business world for a minute. You're going to put your your consumer hat on for a minute. Who is one company or brand who has won you over because of the customer experience they deliver? Um, yeah, there's a, there's so many good ones to choose from. I'm going to try to be a little bit. Well, it's probably not unique, but we'll see. Um, the 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 company that I kind of settled on in terms of customer experience was really Tesla. Okay. Um, that was something in terms of bringing a unique product to, to market. And I've had the fortune, the, the privilege to be able to drive one now for a few years. Um, and it is in terms of all around experience, just something that like I will gush to with my friends and things like that. And it's, I'm, I'm probably selling Tesla's for, for the company and things like that, but, you know, from customer service to delivery, it's making, it's making the end consumers all feel like they're part of something bigger. Um, and that's contagious. And I think to the point about storytelling and um, building kind of customer loyalty that way, you may only purchase a car every five, 10, 20 years, but it, I can guarantee the next car that I'm going to be buying will be that from this company because of just how thoughtful their experience has been from end to end and how unparalleled that's been in the market and still is. Uh, I, I think that not only is it a great answer, but it, it actually puts a nice cap on this conversation because when you say that it's the manufacturer's responsibility to be mapping out that customer journey, there's mm -hmm. no better example than what the folks at Tesla have done. I mean, they've completely yeah. disrupted a product-driven feature-driven industry 
and completely transformed it into it's not really about the car. It's about the whole experience right. that, that goes into it. And they're a great example of how a manufacturer really having some vision can uh, can can change the game. So, um, totally. Ray, I want to thank you for your time today. You've been a, a great guest, and um, I'm sure that the people watching will, will get a lot of enjoyment out of this. So thank you very much. Well, thanks for having me, Chris. I really enjoyed talking with you.